He personally arrived in Canada as a refugee from Somalia. And today, the immigration minister opened the country's doors to the victims of ISIS. Yazidi people constitute a vast majority of the people that will be resettled as a, as a result of this initiative uh, because of the particularly high level of violence that they have suffered. High level of violence almost seems like an understatement for what has been called a genocide. The Yazidis are a Kurdish religious minority that ISIS has branded as devil worshippers. Thousands have been killed, women and girls captured, many bought and sold as sex slaves. The reality is, is that if the international community doesn't wake up to the plight of these people, they will be wiped off the face of the earth and the genocide will be complete. And that's why Conservative MP Michelle Rempel has been pushing Ottawa to act since last year. Against cult zero, nil. Four months ago, the House of Commons unanimously supported her motion urging Canada to help. It passed as Nadia Murad, a Yazidi woman kidnapped and raped when she was 19, watched from the public gallery. But then, silence, until today. Our operation aims to bring to Canada those at the greatest risk and to give them the support and services that they need to make a new home and to restart their lives here. It's the second time the Trudeau government has taken direct action on a specific group of refugees. But unlike the made-for-TV moments that welcomed the Syrians, the Yazidi arrival will be confidential. A step to avoid re-victimizing the refugees or identifying their family members back home for reprisal. It's also why the government has essentially said nothing since endorsing Rempel's motion. I, I don't hesitate to see, say that these people are probably the most vulnerable and the most persecuted group of people in the world right now. The 1,200 government-sponsored refugees is just a start, as Ottawa is also working to facilitate the private sponsorship of Yazidi refugees into the country, meaning ordinary Canadians and community groups can help finance a safe haven for even more victims of ISIS. David Cochran, CBC News, Ottawa.